Hi Libra, this is Tarot Love. We're going to do a weekly tarot reading for you. Right now the moon is in Cancer. So for those of you, for example, or someone you know who might have Venus in Cancer, going to be feeling particularly good right now or not. Um, and what I think it boils down to is money. So let's call on spirit for Libra in general. Remember to take what resonates. You'll leave the rest behind. Anything that we need to see or know, please. I got the Eight of Cups flying out at us. Eight of Cups. Um, just to be clear, I got the 211 is a fresh start. Um, <clears throat> but even for those of you dealing with these people where this week's energy is affecting them, you will benefit. And how you will benefit in this celestial placement is in uh, the way you connect with these people will be with ease and comfort. So connecting with people um, through ease and comfort. I just saw the Ten of Pentacles there real quick, which could have to do with money. And the Eight of Cups. Um, feeling like walking away. It's uh, a lot of feelings. Um, it's overwhelming for someone, like I said. We have added, I've added a new member to the family. His name is Patrick. He may appear, I think he was on the couch when I started. Uh, four of Swords. Oh, okay. So with the Four of Swords, we are tired of all of these emotions. Are Somebody's burning. It's being a burnout here we're dealing with a real world we're just burnt out on this whatever it is in general and the reason is the two of swords um, we are someone is tired of always having to be the one to make the decision where are we going to go eat tonight honey i don't know and then you got to make the fucking decision all the way to the big things in life so i'm just putting that in a nutshell for you okay so let's take a look at the and past. See if this resonates for any Libra. Tired of all of the just over emotionally. Uh, possibly even somebody who constantly threatens to leave. It's getting old. We are not getting any younger to have so many types of expected to feel all of these feelings. Should I stay or should I go? tired of somebody who, and you know, if that's you, uh, somebody's getting tired of it. Because, yeah, three swords. There was a breakup. There was sorrow. There is loss. But, this is a regular deck of cards. So you're going to have to let me know down below how this is really going to go. Because, this could be recovery such as sorrow and loss. Uh, no longer sorry. That's not really about recovery. It's about not feeling sorry. The recent past. Somebody doesn't feel sorry that they always make you make the decisions. Somebody doesn't even care about having to make all the decisions. Somebody is sitting there saying, Tara Love, it's not that. So here's going to tell me what it really is. Current influence is the seven of and the have-nots. Saving and not saving. That's a red card and a blue deck. I'll take it because you only get 52 and in tarot you're supposed to have 78. Look at this. Oddball. Coming in. So this is somebody who we are no longer. You don't know this. They are saving for the future. They are doing well at planting those seeds last week. That's what we were talking about planting those seeds for the future. And again, it's a regular deck. If it's in reverse, it's someone who is not planning long-term. Somebody's not thinking currently about the big picture around you. Ooh, I see another red card in the deck. Okay, that's cool. I don't know if I'm going to get it. I won't look so I don't cheat. But one you can't see and one you can. What's coming in? A new beginning. I saw the two one ones, a fresh start. The ace of pentacles, the ace of coins, is a fresh start. So those who were prepared are going to get the fresh start. Those who did not prepare 
will not get the fresh start. Fun one. All right, so how is Libra going to be working at themselves? Hopefully you were preparing. Hopefully you were saving for this day, for this new beginning. Maybe setting someone off after graduation to college. You know, it could be a new uh, relationship. It could be a new child. It could be a new job be just a new phase in someone's life around you? Did you invest enough? Did you teach them well? Did you save up for this? Did they? It can be the difference between giving someone a fish and teaching someone how to fish. So that's on you. How is Libra going to be looking at themselves in general? I hope this message finds you well. Tomorrow is summer solstice. Happy summer, where if you're in the Western Hemisphere. King of Wands. Okay, so you could be looking at yourself as a mature adult. You could be looking at yourself like I just have no idea where I'm going. You either 100% know where you're going with things or then or you have no idea where this is going. Um, it's one or the other, but it's solid. Okay? So I spirit is acknowledging that. Okay. How are other people going to be looking at you? Okay, so they're going to say that you have a dark side and you have a good side. You have a good side and you have a bad side. They do see you. Maybe currently showing your, your your bad side, being a dick, being a bitch. And then some of you that other people see you as not being that way. So it's going to depend on the situation. Again, you'll have to let me know. But what could get in the way of a good outcome, Spirit, please? Because we do want a good outcome for you. Hi, Patrick. Hi, Pete. Queen of Hearts. Knowing it ain't really smart because the Joker isn't the only fool. So, not playing the fool. Um, Queen of Hearts, nurturing and growing. You gotta water the plant if you want it. If you want to harvest it. So, what could get in the way of a good outcome is either don't smother it, but nurture it. We can't be smothering. Ooh, I saw two more red cards. Did you see that? Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, everybody. It's getting close to uh, it's dinner hour. So after this, I'm gonna take a break and get some dinner, and then I'm gonna finish because I'm doing all twelve. I thought I'd just sit on the couch. It seems so much more relaxing, and I hope that my messages end up more. Because we, here we see a queen and a queen, two women, two cousins, my cousins, my family. I see a man. I see a man with two women. I see uh, two sides to every story. I see the way that we nurture. We could also smother. Um, how we do that is going to deter determine the uh, best outcome, which could be the six. Use reference, why not? I love modern technology, but there's nothing like a good book, and I can, so I'm gonna. I'm getting tired because the Six of Swords can be so many things, and when we tie it in, it's either betrayal, you know, and a, a deception, getting away with something, acting strategically. So we'll have to, you know, but it's imposter syndrome, self deceit, and keeping secrets. No, that's the seven. Okay, boom. we're only one step behind that, though, you guys. In this transition and change, it's a rite of passage and letting go of baggage. Okay, so this is what we will do. We will need to let go before it gets that crazy. In many situations. Someone might be cutting the old apron strings. Because it's a rite of passage. So we do, again, here we see mom and dad and now... A grown man. I see uh, a lesbian couple now with a grown man. He's 18 and he's out the door. This could be 
a work project. It's come to conclusion and it's out the door. It doesn't matter what it is. It's a rite of passage. So we don't want to resist the change. Okay. This also speaks of unfinished business. So somebody here might feel like they have unfinished business with you. If we couldn't decide, they couldn't decide and they still think they still unfinished business because they didn't make that decision. They can't make decisions for themselves. I don't think it's you, I think it's them. But do not resist the change. This would be your best advice at this point, Sue, because if you might be moving, you can be moving your house. You could be leaving a relationship. Do we see somebody was losing a friend? No, that was the last reading. You might, if you are Virgo, Libra, um, born on the cusp, watch the Virgo reading. It's, it's good. This change may be your own doing or forced upon you. Right now, as we are going, as we move into July, you might feel sad and leave behind someone that you care about. Someone here could get empty nest syndrome as our children if somebody moved out maybe you guys just moved apart if there is a lot of disappointment resentment and regret that can show up so we're going to be going through a very personal spiritual transition and so what you need to do is um, let this encourage you to keep moving forward and then encouraging them to move forward in a positive way Again, it's the difference between teaching someone to fish or just feed. You know, you can't just feed them. you got to teach them how, you know, and they know and you know. So believe it or not, surprisingly, someone is doing that. Because this might indicate that you need to make a change or transition in your life but are reluctant to do so. And so you don't see this change. You need and you just kind of hope that a problem will go away on its own. We don't want to wrangle those difficult decisions, right? So that's pretty much where we're at there with that as well. But you need to remember that we're going to connect with ease and comfort. So maybe it's about letting someone else transition through ease and comfort. It is not easy to make these decisions and move from the past. And if we struggle to do so, the Six of Swords reversed can suggest that there may be unfinished business, unresolved conflicts, lessons that need to be to understand before we can wholeheartedly move forward for some of you in your life. What will be holding you back from making this crucial transition? Spirit, can we see what is going to hold us back? Because we need to seek to resolve these issues, y'all. There may be something from your past, but it, it, it gently encourages us to move forward. We're still going to have to move forward. Life does not stop or end here. Right? All right. So to answer that, Spirit says, the Knight of Swords. Forward moving mindset. The Knight of Swords. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. A very forward moving mindset is what's going to get you through this. Stay positive, guys. Right? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Libras. Hit the like button. Help my algorithm if you want to become a member and get more readings from me. Please do subscribe. I would love to have you. Uh, check back next week for more readings. And I will see you guys later. Thank you. Thank you for your view. Bye.